Hello darlings, it is Ipsy Glam Bag Plus Day and in case you haven't already noticed, I'm missing a few items of makeup because the thing with Ipsy Plus is that you get to choose three of the five items that come in your bag. So I already know what is in here and I already know we're gonna test out some of the products because playing with makeup is just darn fun. Now, if you are new here, my name is Meredith. I do all kinds of hauls and unboxings here on my channel and I throw a little bit of everything else in there just to keep things interesting. So if that sounds like a good time to you, definitely hit the red subscribe button and we can hang out more often. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoy ipsy unbaggings and let's go ahead and do this so now here is my piece of advice to you for the day okay so here's my thoughts if you are ever having a bad hair day the two things that will fix that are some super sassy earrings i got these at target recently by the way uh and so if i can still find them i'll link them down below for you but i just thought they were fun they're these really pretty leaf design filigree um, i like that they're big and dangly but they're extremely lightweight so happy about that. I actually got a couple of other pairs because I got influenced by Alex over at Life of a City Girl. Definitely check her out if you have not before. Uh, but she got these really pretty earrings in an unboxing and so I went and bought those ones and a couple of other ones to go with it because, well, can you only just buy one pair of earrings? Do you guys have better self-control than I do? Because my self-control is certainly lacking. All right. Ipsy. I've been yakking a while. Okay, so I have the five items that normally come in my bag, but I also did some add-ons. Um, a number of you recently have signed up using my Ipsy link, which is down in the description box below, along with all my other links. If you use those links, thank you so much. It really does help me bring more content to the channel, and I'm so grateful when you do that. Um, and the great thing about that is it actually benefits you guys because I get some swag for you. So you can use your Ipsy points to redeem for products, which I do every month I check through and see if there's anything that's worth it to us to get. And this time around, they had an eyeshadow palette. This is the Half Cake, Half Caked is the brand, the Babe Testin and Vegan Approved Nine Pigments Palette, and it's your eyes only. And of course it looks like a floppy disk. Uh, I thought that was kind of cute. And then here is what, ooh, this is very, very pretty. So some absolutely gorgeous shades in here. It's really pretty berry. This like rose gold peachy tone is gorgeous. And then some really nice neutrals, a bronzy brown, sort of a coppery shade. I really like this a lot. So what I do is I grab the cute stuff and then some of it I do keep for myself, I won't lie, but some of the items end up going in my giveaways. So I will definitely be, ooh, this one is tempting, I don't know, but I'll probably put this in a future giveaway. So it ends up benefiting you guys in the long run. So anyways, so that was an add-on item. Let's see if I can find, I know I did at least one other one. Oh yes, here it is. There's way more than just my Ipsy normal bag in here. Um, I did grab one of these coconut milk hand creams. I got this in my Ipsy, just regular glam bag this month, uh, my July one. And this is a really nice hand cream. I like it, liked it a lot. So I just snagged one of those in the shop. And then I think, I think that might, that might be everything. Okay, so I think I just did two add-ons. So anyways, now let's go ahead and check into the bag. So here's what the bag looks like this month. There's only actually one item in the bag. They shoved the rest in here. So we must have been packing these bags in a hurry. So it says stay golden, has a sort of fun sunburst design. And it does come with a card um, and looks like they are talking about bronzers and how to best choose your shade. Um, and then your formula and how to apply it like a pro. So. All right, so first item is the Juice Beauty uh, SPF 30 Oil-Free Moisturizer. I thought this would be great for the summertime. You should always be wearing sunscreen. I use uh, retinol and lactic acid products on my face, and so, you know, it's always good to be protecting your skin. So I went ahead and grabbed this. It is cruelty-free and vegan, and it looks like you get two fluid ounces. Let's go ahead and pop this open. Okay, so here is what the tube looks like. 
it is sealed so I am gonna leave it sealed for now but to be honest I need some sunscreen so this will be coming out soon and it says it's formulated with organic ingredients which I love okay so first item in the actual glam bag next is I believe one of the items they chose for me I think is the Tula skincare rose glow and get it the cooling and brightening eye balm so this is what that looks like now I'm pretty sure it was oh I'm blanking on her name Emily Noel I kept wanting to say Nicole Emily Noel who was raving about how great this one I'm pretty sure it was this one um, so I was excited to see this and give it a try uh, I don't know about you but I feel like my under eye area is very easily puffy especially if I don't get enough sleep or maybe I had you know too many coffees the day before and I'm a little dehydrated it's like my eye, my eyes are just like Phew. so I'm hoping that this will work I also like that it's um, supposed to be cooling I think that'll be nice in the summertime so we shall see hopefully that will help with the deep huffing um, let's see does it have anything apply around the eye area for an instant cooling yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no real uh, fancy schmancy directions there but I'm happy to try this out and I'll definitely give you guys a review of it in a future video probably in empties or if I'm absolutely loving it I will be sure to bring it back next month and tell you about it one of the items we're gonna try on today is from Fenty Beauty this is the Stunna lip paint long wear lip fluid in the shade unlocked so we're gonna go ahead and unlock this bottle and see what we think so definitely some good packaging here and of course you know I picked the brightest most vibrant shade that was available this one looks like it's gonna do its job so definitely some interesting packaging to be honest it reminds me more of like a funky nail polish bottle from the 80s than it does a lipstick or a lip paint uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use a little mirror here and put this on so I'm gonna just brought a little compact just so I'd have a mirror to do this so here's what the applicator looks like kind of funky doe foot fuzzy style applicator but an interesting shape to it and let's see how this does Ooh, that is pink super exciting isn't it there we are it's definitely a gorgeous gorgeous shade very vibrant definitely pinky um, I would almost think maybe possibly from far away it might end up looking a little bit red but I like the shade I think it's a great summertime color perfect for sipping cocktails right so really really pretty again that's in the shade unlocked I like that did you choose one of the Fenty lip paints if you did did you get the same shade that I did I would be curious to see if you got one of the other shades and if you're liking it now this right here is the number one item in the box I was so excited to see the spoilers that this was one of the possible options and I was very glad to see it was among my choices these are the Wander Beauty uh, baggage claim gold eye masks these are hands down by far the best eye product I have ever used on the market period eye cream eye gel eye mask any of it these are the only eye products that I've ever seen actually really make a difference with my under eye area for deep puffing for hydrating all of that good stuff the bummer is they're $25 so first of all this is the price of the entire bag uh, paid for right here but you get six pairs in the box so these are definitely like a hey I'm going to a special event or maybe I have to go to work today but I was up late or I just didn't sleep well or whatever and my eyes are super puffy and I want to look like I'm actually a human being and not a zombie these are great and I highly recommend them so uh, the packets just for fun look like this and so you get six of these little eye patch eye 
patch duos. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So super stoked about this. And even if the rest of the bag completely sucked, which I don't think it does, uh, this would make the entire month worth it for me. So super thrilled about those. And I'm hoping they show up in the add-on shop next month because I will totally snag another box. All right, next we have the Rose Quartz Gusha Sculpting Stone from Complex Culture. Now, these, I'll go ahead and slide this out. Looks like it comes with a little storage case, so that's handy. And it is well packaged. Hang on. That took a little arm muscle to get that open. So that is what it looks like on the inside. Now these are actually for giving yourself a facial massage. So this is a great thing to do. You can certainly do it morning and evening, but you wanna put on like a face oil or a nice more slick moisturizer. And then what you wanna do is you wanna use it in upward motions. It's best to like hold the skin taut and then pull up like this. So, and you can do it in like sets of three, one, two, three, and then you can do it here where you're going up along your cheekbone, one, two, three. You wanna go up on the forehead here and out like that. Um, and I think there's one over here as well for nasal drainage, but don't quote me on that. Um, so these are great for self massage. It really helps tone the skin. Um, and you're just kind of pressing your serums and moisturizers in that much more. So I'm totally going to slide this in the nice little case. And I will definitely be using this. I do actually already own one. I got a PR package woo -woo, um, from a company and I'll actually be sharing that with you guys soon. But they actually sent me one somewhat recently. So I've been using it and enjoying it. I mean, it does feel really nice on the face to just like... I don't know about you, but I feel like when you're like clenching your jaw, like just go do your chores, like I said, you know, to your children and whatnot, uh, you maybe clench your jaw a little bit. <laughs> All right. And then the last item, which we are also going to try on, um, is the Studio Makeup High Define Brow Tint. So this one is quite small. Um, I did get it in the shade, I believe it was like dark brown. Does it say? Does it say? Oh. it's made in Germany dark so that's the shade so here's what it looks like and I will say a lot of brow tints do come in a much smaller bottle there is the little basically like a pointy mascara wand applicator so we're gonna test it and see what we think again get my little handy dandy compact out so I do normally use a brow gel I was extremely excited to see that it was a brow gel and not a brow pencil this time so what I do is I usually take my little brush and I start here and I do it in like upward motions, just a really light hand. So you can just see how much that lifted that eyebrow. And then my brows are pretty decently thick in this region, but they're quite sparse on the sides. I don't know if you can really see that, but and you can also see exactly where I stopped with the product. Um, so what I do is I will take and I will push these hairs up because that automatically makes it look like there's more hair there and then I tend to go over the side area where it's much sparser a few more times than I do over here because again I'm not really needing to fill in a ton on that area so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera and I'll be back and that is what the eyebrows look like after. So I feel like the shade match is really good and I feel like it is staying in place but doesn't feel too gunky or heavy. So I think that this brow product is a win. I'll continue to keep trying it, of course, and let you know in the future. Uh, and this one is good for 12 months. Some of the brow products that I have, I believe they expire after six months. So that's definitely something that you want to uh, be aware of. But so in this month's bag, we got the uh, brow gel, the tinted brow gel. We have an SPF moisturizer. We got the Tula, an extremely good and expensive brand, I might add. Uh, skincare Brightening Eye Balm. The Fenty Beauty Lip Paint. As well as, where is it? Ah, oh, yes. The Gusha. I think that's how you say it. And the Wander Beauty Rose Gold, or the Gold Eye Masks, excuse me. Okay, so the only brand that I was sent that isn't a high-end brand that I've heard of multiple times 
would be this Studio Makeup Brow Tint, but I think the quality on it is good, so I'm happy with that. But we got some really good brand names. We got Wander Beauty, which we know is a somewhat pricey product. So we know this is $25. I know Juice Beauty is quite expensive. Tula is definitely an expensive brand. I wouldn't be surprised if this retails for upwards of $30. And I also know that Fenty is a brand that is sold at Sephora and has a pretty price tag as well. So I definitely got my money's worth and I'm very satisfied with my bag this month. Let me know what you guys got. Do you feel like your bag was uh, as good? I do pay for this myself. This is not a PR bag. Uh, so just FYI, I always see when uh, people who get Ipsy PR are saying that they, you know, sometimes feel like is their, their PR bag better than their regular bag. I feel like the regular bag with Ipsy is pretty darn good this month. All right, until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. You know I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, guys.